That is part of what the Bible calls the blessed hope is that we will be like him. We will have a glorified body like his body. This vile or lowly body will be fashioned like that glorious body. And what is that glorious body? It's his resurrected body. Just as Jesus was resurrected with a glorious body, that body that he had is very similar to the body that we shall receive, a resurrected, glorified body like Jesus. But it's more than just simply a body. It is also a body that has what the Bible calls a hope of righteousness. A hope of righteousness. Now, because of your faith in Christ, you are righteous. That's your standing. But what about your walk? If you're like me, you have issues, right? You have issues. In other words, your walk is not quite as good as your standing. He has declared you righteous in Christ. And when God looks at you, he sees eternal righteousness because of faith in Christ Jesus. Amen? Now we got our daily walk. And we sin, we fall short, we struggle we, we, we sense the presence of sin. In my flesh dwelleth no good thing. We got that downward pull, the flesh lust against the spirit. The Bible talks about the, the warring against our soul and bringing us into captivity. And, and uh, the, I, I want to do these things, but I end up not doing what I want to do and what I hate doing, end up doing. And who's going to deliver me from the body of this death? And so there is a hope. A hope here today that I want to talk to you about, what the Bible calls the hope of righteousness. There is coming a day when we are standing before God, when you have a glorified body like the Lord's resurrected glorified body, and you will be confirmed in righteousness forever and ever. Not only will you be righteous in the sight you're standing, but in your heart, in your soul, your spirit, into the core of who you are for all eternity will be righteous. No more tempted to sin. No more failures. No more addictions. No more weaknesses. No more bondages. No more need of forgiveness. Nothing that will ever hinder you, cause you to fall short, come between you and God. Nothing. You will be righteous forever. That's the hope of righteousness. And the Bible calls that a hope because it's future and it's certain and it's something that you should be longing for. If you're a true believer here today, you thank God that he has declared you righteous because of your faith in Christ. And when you sin, you are grieved and you wish that you could be delivered out of this world and from this body of death and somehow be transformed to where you're never tempted anymore and that everything you do is forever pleasing to almighty God. What a day that's going to be. It's going to be an awesome day. The Bible talks in 1 Corinthians 15 about this body that we're going to be. He says corruption will come to incorruption. In other words, no more sickness. No more sickness. You won't even get a head cold in heaven. Dishonor will put on glory. That means no more shame because of sinful failure in your life. Weakness to power, no more frailty to temptations. And in a natural body, you'll have a spiritual body, meaning this. Now, it'll be a spiritual body, not like uh, Casper the ghost, because it'll be a spiritual body in the sense of like the Lord's resurrected body. You know, they could touch him, right? They could touch him, put his hands in, in, into his nail prints, into his side, and Jesus ate with them. But it, it didn't have limitations. Jesus passed through walls. He was here, then he's gone. It, it, it's not a natural body like we know. We got the natural body, but it's going to be, a, the scripture says, a spiritual body, not subject to the limitations that we have down here. No more gravitational pull, you know, which gets stronger the older you get, doesn't it? It does. You know, when I was young, my mom would drop something on the floor. You know, she'd be talking to me. She might drop a thimble or something on the floor. And she'd look at me and says, Tim, can you pick that up for me? I said, sure, mom. You know, there you go. And she said, I just don't like bending down. It's harder to get back up. And I thought, wow, that's kind of strange. I'm like 12 years old. She's, I'd pick something off the floor for her. And now I'm 56 years of age. I dropped something. I said, Rhonda, come here. Can you pick that? <laughs> 
Ah, the blessed hope. We don't understand what that's all about. No more gravitational pull, no more sniffles, no more cancer, no more diabetes, no more frailty to sin, no more shame, no more failures. When we get to heaven, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome.